Good day and welcome back to this YouTube channel. In case you are new to this YouTube channel, this is Tech YouTube channel and this is where you can learn anything programming and development generally, like when you are doing software development generally. So in this tutorial, we're actually building a photo editing app with Python. So basically what we are doing is like building a mini Photoshop with some functionalities and the likes. What we are building will look something like this. So it looks something like this. And basically, this is what we'll build at the end of this tutorial. So let me just scroll down to the last part of this tutorial so you can see what we are building. So you can easily just pick an image you want to upload. You've uploaded the image. You can copy your image. For example, you can copy your image. You can see I've copied the image to the size I want it to to be but I revert back to the old thing I can add text I can add TV text to the image I can add TV text to the image then pick I can pick the color of the text I want to add let me just pick this okay then I can just put the text wherever I want it to be so it will appear wherever I need it to appear and another thing is I can draw over the image I can write a over the image i can write s over the image whatever i like i can add filters i can do negative of the image i can do, turn it to black and white stylization sketch effects emboss sepia binary threshold erosion dilate can revert back to the original image and that thing i can do is i can rotate i can rotate the image either to the left or to the right like that so that's that then i can flip so vertical flipping vertical flipping horizontal flipping horizontal flipping then i can save everything i've done as a file for example this is the last one i did i will call this one v because we did it together and that's that so that's basically what we're treating in this tutorial series building photo editing app with python join me as we go on in this tutorial so for us to actually achieve what we want to achieve in this tutorial, we need some things in place. We need TK Inter, we need NumPy, we need OpenCV, we need Phil, I mean, that's Pillow. So basically, TK Inter is an inbuilt library in Python. If you're using Anaconda, NumPy automatically comes with Anaconda. If you're using the latest version of Anaconda, we have OpenCV already in pre-installed in it. But in case you don't have, you can just run the pip install NumPy, OpenCV, Python, and Pillow to have all these libraries on your system. So having said that, let's start the tutorial now. So here is where we import some of the basic things we need in this tutorial. We need TTK, we need TK, we need photo image, ridge, canvas, and groove. These ones are just for us to show the relief of the image. This is the canvas. This is the canvas where we display our image. This is the photo image where we what we use to import our image and display it. This TK which is what we use to define our window. And this TTK, what is something like the TK entire itself, from which we can call most of the functions we'll be using in this tutorial. So I imported all that. Then, and then I initialized, I labeled what I want to do. I called it photo op. So instead of having Photoshop or photo editor or something like that, I called my own photo op. So this, this on this. So Photoshop was once just this small. So don't fear the days of the young beginning. And that thing we need to do now is to add the next line, which is an image editing app. This is just the description of what our app is doing. So an image editing app. That's just our code is just two lines long now. So the next thing we want to do here is to add the main menu. That's those are the buttons we'll be using to edit our images. So the, all these buttons here now, we are going to add them now, which is what we are doing here. But mind you, we have a lot of commands that we'll be using in them. So I have to create these functions in our class. And the thing, another thing I didn't mention is all the things we are doing are displaying in this main window, but we are writing them in this front end class. So having said that now, so I created all these functions within the class just to have something very easy for me to use. So I wrote all those functions inside the class. Then we can easily call them in the main window by pressing all these buttons that we've created. Then we created their colons and rows. So basically, they are all in colon zero because they are in the first colon 
of our graphical user interface. Then row one, row two, row zero, row one, row two, row three. So this one is supposed to be row one. Sorry, this one is supposed to be row two because of our arrangement. So when we do that, we have all this. But if we change the rows, of course, it will change the arrangement of these things here. So the next thing we want to do here is to import our logo. That is, have something that bears our emblem. That's the logo of our ed image editing app, which is what we are adding here. And the logo I'll be using is Fibitech logo. That's the logo of the company that is in charge of this YouTube channel. Basically, what we do at Fibitech is we help to build softwares, graphical design interface. I mean, we you bring. I mean, we build UI for websites, we build websites, we build software for your business, we consult, we do data science, analytics, and the likes like that. In case you need any of our services, check our website, or you can just dial our number or send us an email. Having said that, let's just import our image. We use photo image, which is what I imported in the first place, then gave it a shape, then I gave it where it will be positioned. And having said that, where where that writes the positioning okay the image self dot logo self print self dot logo okay where did i put the positioning imagine i i don't know where i put the position of my logo but the thing is it should span two colons and i mean span two rows and one colon. okay this is basically it here so it's starting from row zero colon zero and it's spanning two rows because it has to span the row of our description and our photo up. So having run that, we have this. So having said that, the next thing we need to do is add our footer, which we have three buttons, which is the cancel button, apply button, and revert all changes. So you can see it all belongs to row zero. Actually, our footer itself belongs to a particular colon on our day on our canvas then it's it, the, the buttons within it are now positioned in row zero colon zero which spans one 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 colon and same thing here row, col, row zero colon one which spans one colon then row zero colon two which spans one colon so if i run this you can see this like this but if i change the arrangement if i come back and change the arrangement here and I probably say, let's say, this should be colon 2, and this should be colon 1. You can see the arrangement will revert. You can see revert all changes come here, then the cancel comes here. So having said that, let's move on to the next thing, which is what? Bringing in our canvas. Our canvas is actually where we'll be editing our image. So what's the size of our canvas? This is our canvas here. We gave it a background color of gray. The width should be 300. The height should be 400. It should span 10 rows. Then colon should be two colons. Then row should be zero rows. So if we run this now, you can see we have our canvas automatically displaying here. Then the next thing we want to do here is what? Let me check what this code is doing. So basically we just added a border and the likes like that. So that's what we did there. Then what we are doing here is what? Adding our optional menus. And the thing is, if we do not add a text within the optional menu, which is what I did here, the label, which is this optional menu, if I do not add that, it will not show at all, which was, is what happened whenever I want to crop our image. You can see this here. So that's that on that. So the next thing we now need to do now is to actually start making our functions work and having been able to import image and adding content to our functions. So the first thing we do here is what we, we add some of these functions, refresh side panel. And that's because whenever we press a button on this side, it should be able to show whatever is shown on this side. For example, if I press Tell me okay because we've not imported an image that will not work so basically what we did there is whenever we press a button here because this side i mean the side panel here will not always be there it won't always be there because whatever we are doing here affects what's applying here so we need to be able to refresh it and that's basically what we the function we defined here so the refresh panel then the filter action I mean, this is the refresh 
side panel button so it just brings in whatever this side is requesting so having said that let's move straight to be able to actually import an image so let me just show you the function to upload image actually i've defined all the functions i'll just start explaining them one after the other so where is the upload image so basically i commented out this for us to be able to actually we are still going to use cv2 there so there is no need to comment it out hope oh, i've imported cv2 i've imported cv2 so if i run this now i can easily upload an image let me pick this image which is what i've been using as sample over the time so i can easily upload an image and how was that made possible uh, that was made possible by the file dialog this thing that we have here this file dialog then asks to open so it will ask you to navigate wherever the image is and import so that's basically that the cv2 does reads it and brings it in then we have the image saved in four separate compartments we have the original image which is what we imported the edited image which is what we can export the filtered image which is what we are working on and display image which is what the users are seeing at the moment and that is basically what the edited image which is what we are working on so whenever we say whenever we apply a change it saves as a filtered image i mean it saves as a filtered image which is what we can actually export but when we revert to original uh, that is when we press this button when we press this button it returns to the original image that we are using so that having said that let's move on so refresh side panel i've explained this then filter action button so this one is just helping us to refresh the side frame so so whatever we press on this side on the left hand side reflect on the right hand side of our this thing then the blur action is what we use in the filter framing button that blows out what we are doing on whichever side we are doing it on so let me just start explaining each and every one of these functions in the next thing here so this is actually everything we are doing here so when i bring in this image now you can see so let me talk about the crop image first before we start copying so where is the crop image button defined here so this is a crop option so we have the start crop then we have the end crop which is what we define here then the crop action so this one just starts now it defines this what it has before that's zero then it now changes to whatever we define here so we have the start x the end x which is the but the first place we start and the ending so let me just do that in your presence so when i press the curve button so this is our start x and end x here that's the geometry okay have i pressed the curve button it's not working i don't know why it's not working but let me just cancel this and run my function again for me let me run it again then crop button no, sorry import image then crop you can see that's where the image is starting that starts x and x and this starts y and y so you can see it just cropped out the part of the image i actually cropped so i can just go back to revert to revert back to original image which where i can crop again i can just crop this side alone you can see it actually crops it out but revert back to the original so that's what the crop button is doing so it crops the image and saves whichever thing we have as our output don't mind me the function is actually very long and i don't want to explain what it's doing without actually showing you what it's doing so that's basically what this is doing so we are using a lot of a lot of mathematics here which open cv thank god for open cv is handling for us for example when i upload the image and i crop if you check your open cv here you check what it's doing here okay, it has not written anything here, but it will write a lot of math for you for you to i mean a lot of figures for you for you to understand what you've just done so having said that the next button that we can use here let me just revert all changes 
is add text. Let me just explain add text. Add text is actually quite simple to understand.